In this question, we have a mixture of gases. We have one mole of oxygen, O2, and four moles of chlorine, Cl2, in a container at a pressure of 2.77 atm. If we look at our diagram, we can see we've got one green diatomic molecule, that's going to be the oxygen, and four blue diatomic molecules, those are going to be the chlorine. So that image just reinforces what the question tells us. We've got one mole of oxygen and four moles of chlorine. Our goal is going to be figuring out the partial pressure of oxygen and the partial pressure of chlorine in the mixture. So let's just go to our reference sheet and see what can help us there. So down here at the bottom of our gases reference sheet, we have Dalton's law, which is that the pressure is equal to the sum of the partial pressures. So P1 plus P2, if we had more than two different types of gas in there, it would be plus P3 plus P4, based on how many types of gas we have. So we've got our Dalton's law equation which is that the overall pressure is equal to the sum of the partial pressures, P1 plus P2 plus, if we had a third one, it would be P3, etc. In this question, we only have two different types of gas. So I just need P1 plus P2. So that's the law of partial pressures. Our overall pressure is gonna be the pressure of each of our components added together. So to figure out the partial pressures of those things, first we're going to look at how many moles of gas and the mole fraction of the mixture that we have. So we know we have one mole of oxygen and four moles of chlorine. That gives us a total of five moles, which is one plus four, five moles of gas in our mixture. Now our next step is to figure out our mole fraction. So we have one mole of oxygen out of a total of five moles. So to get my mole fraction, I'm going to do one, which is the moles of oxygen, divided by the total, which is five. One divided by five. And for chlorine, I've got four moles out of five. So four divided by five. For the total mixture, it's just going to be one because it's five divided by five. So we can put those in our calculator. One divided by five is 0 0.2. Four divided by five is 0 0.8. And five divided by five is just one. Okay, so we know the mole fraction of our different gases in our mixture. Looking back at our question, we've also been given that total pressure is 2.77 atm. So our pressure overall is 2.77 atm for our total mixture. Now, based on Dalton's law, we know that adding up the pressures of our different compounds within our mixture gives us the total pressure. So we know that the partial pressure of oxygen plus the partial pressure of chlorine is going to equal to 2.77. And the way that gets split up is based on the mole fraction of the mixture. So for our bottom, which is the total mixture, our mole fraction was 1. So 1 multiplied by our overall pressure, 2.77, that gets us 2.77. For chlorine, we've got 0 0.8 multiplied by 2.77. That's going to get our partial pressure of chlorine. And for oxygen, we've got 0 0.2, that's our mole fraction of the mixture, multiplied by the overall pressure, 2.77, to get us the partial pressure of oxygen. So we're multiplying our mole fraction for each thing by the total pressure in order to figure out what their partial pressures will be. And if we put those in our calculator, 0 0.2 times 2.77 gets us 0 0.554. And 0 0.8 multiplied by 2.77 gets us 2.22. So we've figured out these two partial pressures using the mole fraction of the total pressure. Now we can just do a quick check. The partial pressure of chlorine and oxygen should add together to give the partial pressure for our total mixture. So 0 0.554 plus 
2.22, if we put that in our calculator, we get 2.77, which is our total partial pressure for the mixture. So that worked out correctly according to Dalton's law. So now we can fill in our partial pressure of oxygen was 0 0.554 atm that's our unit for pressure here and for chlorine it was 2.22 atm let's try one more question together in this question we again have oxygen and chlorine this time we have 2.01 moles of oxygen and 5.02 moles of chlorine in the container we're told that oxygen has a partial pressure of 0 0.572 atm. Let's start out by filling in our known values. So oxygen, we had 2.01 moles of oxygen. For chlorine, we had 5.02 moles. And oxygen has a partial pressure of 0 0.572. So that's going to go in here. OK, those are all our known values. There's a couple other things we can easily calculate. The total mixture for the moles is going to be added up the moles of the components so that will be 2.01 plus 5.02 which is going to get us a total of 7.03 moles of gas in our total mixture next we can calculate our mole fraction of the mixture remember this is going to be however many moles of that gas we have, divided by however many moles we have in total in the mixture. So it's going to be 2.01 divided by 7.03 for oxygen. It's going to be 5.02 divided by 7.03 for chlorine. And for the total mixture, it's going to be 7.03 divided by 7.03, which is just going to be 1. So 2.01 divided by 7.03 gets a 0 0.286. 5.02 divided by 7.03 gets a 0 0.714. And 7.03 divided by 7.03 is just 1. OK, so we know which fraction of our total is oxygen and what of that is chlorine. Finally, we can start to figure out our remaining unknowns for the partial pressure of chlorine and the total pressure of the mixture. So in the first line here, to get the partial pressure of oxygen, we would get the total pressure, which is this thing here, and we'd multiply it by our mole fraction of oxygen, which is 0 0.286. And that would get us our partial pressure of oxygen, which is 0. 572. So we know that the total pressure multiplied by 0 0.286 is equal to 0 0.572. So now we can just do a little bit of algebra here. If we divide both sides by 0 0.286, that will cancel on our left, giving us our total pressure is equal to 0 0.572 divided by 0 0.286. So if we put that into our calculator, we're going to get that our total pressure is 2.00 atm so let's go ahead and fill that in here to check that was correct okay so we've figured out our total pressure now and finally we just have a simple step to find out the partial pressure of chlorine we know our partial pressure for chlorine is going to be the total pressure which we now know is 2 multiplied by the mole fraction of chlorine, which is 0 0.714. So if we put that into our calculator, we're going to get out 1.43 as our partial pressure of chlorine. Now, there's one other way we could have figured that out if we didn't use this equation. We could have used Dalton's law, which is the total pressure is the sum of the components. So we could have known that the total pressure is equal to the pressure of the oxygen plus the pressure of the chlorine. We know the total pressure is 2. We know that the pressure of the oxygen is 0 0.572. And we were trying to find the pressure of the chlorine. So all we need to do is 
subtract 0 0.572 from both sides of our equation. And that will give us that the pressure of chlorine is going to be 2 minus 0 0.572. And if we put that into our calculator, that gives us the pressure of chlorine is equal to 1.43, which is exactly what we got by our other method. So there are two ways of going at this. One is by looking at the total pressure and multiplying it by the mole fraction of that thing to get the partial pressure. The other one is just by using Dalton's law, which is that the sum of the component partial pressures is equal to the total pressure. So finally, we can enter our answers down here. The partial pressure of chlorine in the mixture was 1.43 atm. And our total pressure in the mixture was 2.00 atm.